Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to be one of 2017's biggest JRPGs, and you know what? It's only releasing on Nintendo Switch. And this is Top Gaming 007, I'm going to be telling you why Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is going to be the best-selling Xenoblade game and the possibility of outselling 2017 JRPG giants. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to start with talking about each Xenoblade game and it leads to Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and each situation and why it sell that much. And let's talk about the original Xenoblade Chronicles and it was a masterpiece that everyone should play but it didn't sell really. And the main reason is because the game was a GameStop exclusive in the United States. Nintendo released the original Xenoblade game and left it to die with GameStop. No marketing, no ads, nothing. The few people that knew about Xenoblade didn't want to pay $90 to play an amazing game. Be honest, $90? Most Wii games at the time was $40, I believe. So that was outrageous. $90, that's double two Wii games right there. And plus an extra $10 game from the Virtual Console or something. So no one wanted to buy games at GameStop at the time. And that was 2012. Games were becoming more digital and available at many other places. Nintendo's biggest mistake was to release the game on the Wii as well. Everyone's gonna tell me that Wii was the perfect console to release Xenoblade Chronicles because it, the Wii sold over 100,000, but it isn't. At the time, no one played the Wii really. Most of the people moved on to another HD console or smartphones or the grand and the kids mostly moved to smartphones. So, Nintendo left the original Xenoblade Chronicles to die. I know, everyone's gonna complain, but Nintendo did that. Nintendo should have poured over Xenoblade Chronicles, the original one, to the Nintendo Wii U. And a lot of people are gonna tell me, why should they do that? It would have made way more sense, because they shouldn't release the original Xenoblade on a dead system. It was the Wii, be honest. It was not, it couldn't even handle the Wii, really. The graphics were really low. I didn't want to talk about graphics, but the graphics was really, really low. And it could have been rendering me with releasing it on the Wii U and would have a nice launch title. It would have been amazing if they would launch this on the Wii, but they did not. Same thing with Skyward Sword, but that's a different topic with me. But Nintendo did not do that. They think that the, anything that goes on the Wii will sell, but they did not. It would have made more sense because they knew Xenoblade Chronicles X was in development at that time, 100% new. And they should have poured the original Xenoblade on the Wii U, not the 3DS. I don't know why they did that. The Wii U made it beautiful and that would have been a masterpiece all over again. The best version, definitive version of Xenoblade Chronicles. And you know what? The same people that bought it on the Wii U will move on to Xenoblade Chronicles X on the same Wii U and it will put more popularity on the Xenoblade name but it did not but that's a difference let's move on to Xenoblade Chronicles X the most selling Xenoblade Chronicles game to date Xenoblade Chronicles X was announced in 2013 at this time we didn't really know if the Wii U was going to fail it was great to have Xenoblade Chronicles X a sequel of the original game at that time to have on the Wii U. It took two years, two years to release since its announcement. And by the time the game released, it was easy to see that the Wii U was a failure. The game didn't live up to the original masterpiece as well. I should say not even close. The game ended up shipping a million copies and we didn't really know the exact number sold from those copies or those shipments. Now we're at the Switch era, one of the most popular Nintendo consoles since the first three years of the week. I make sure I said the first three years. They announced Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And they also, this is the best part, this is the thing that I love my lips off to tell fans that the, with a 2 next to Xenoblade Chronicles, this is the true sequel of Xenoblade Chronicles. This too also told fans that Xenoblade Chronicles X was a spin-off because it's not a true sequel, right? Also, they also said that this game was going to release at 2017 at the same year of its announcement. Man, that was hard to believe. Looking back at Xenoblade Chronicles X, 
That's the only one I ever remember. I did not know nothing about the original development of the original Xenoblade Chronicles. I just knew about it when it came out. That's it. Because I know a friend that told me about it. And that's all. And I didn't really follow the development. But Xenoblade Chronicles, Xenoblade Chronicles X, I did 100% follow. And looking back at it, it was announced in 2013 and it took two years. The game released in, I don't remember, it released in May or something in 2015 in Japan. And it took more than six months to reach United States and the West, I should say. And they censored a lot of things. Just looking about it, just looking back completely at the Xenoblade Chronicles X um, development. And at the time when they announced Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I completely did not believe that the game was going to release 2017 until the direct in September 13th, I believe. September 13th, they 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 re revealed that the release date is going to be December 1st. And at almost every event Nintendo goes to, they show gameplay. They show more reasons to make consumers buy their game. They show how complex this, the, the, the battle system is. They're going more detail in the story in general now. And they're getting into how amazing these characters their potential can be. They even gave a demonstration how big the world is that it's going to be between the original Xenoblade and the huge open world of Xenoblade Chronicles X. They even made a Nintendo Direct only for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 to help market the game more. This made Xenoblade Chronicles 2 have the most attention I ever seen in any Xenoblade game. I started to see ads everywhere about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. All over the place, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Everywhere. Can't stop hearing about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I just love how Nintendo is not leaving this game to just die like the previous games. Nintendo Switch is is the most popular Nintendo system I ever seen since the first three years of the Wii since I said that before. So this game will definitely sell more than that million of Xenoblade Chronicles X and that almost a million of Xenoblade Chronicles, the original one. The game is going to release on the first year of the Switch, not on the last few years of a dying console. In the beginning, the first year, that means everyone's attention is around it. It's releasing on the Prime or the when the system is the most popular. So let's look at the best selling art JRPGs of this year. All this data is from VG Charts. So I don't know what if they have their correct or anything like that. First look at Persona 5. I personally love this game. And this game sold 1.07 million units at the time of September. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5, so 0.82 million, and Kingdom Hearts 2.8, so 0.81 million. I love these remasters to death when the game released, and especially 0.2 Birth by Sleep. By the sales, this is under a million, even if it was a great game. Near Automata sold 1 million units based on Square Enix, and VG Charts have a rough estimate of 0.96 million. I'm going to tell you about Dragon Quest XI and it sold 3 million together between the PS4 and the 3DS versions, the king of JRPGs in Japan and it didn't even release in the west yet. And I think Xenoblade Chronicles 2 will outsell Dragon Quest XI worldwide. And if it doesn't sell it by this, the end of December, it's going to sell it out, sell it by March because this is worldwide in general so I believe it'll sell around that way before way more than three million i believe that's my opinion and i hope this is the case because the xenoblade series sell this much this will become the next fire emblem until we'll make way more xenoblade games and it'll be way better quality and more frequently so this is top gamer 007 and i see you in a future video peace